I want to bring you a Fox News alert. The president has just announced 26 new pardons. Those include a pardon for Paul Manafort and for Roger Stone. Both of them, of course, you remember, were indicted by the special counsel during the Russia probe. Neither Stone nor Manafort was convicted of colluding with Russia because they didn't. Manafort, who was 71 years old, was sentenced to seven and a half years in prison, partly for tax evasion. Stone, who was 68, was convicted of lying to Congress. The FBI, colluding with CNN, raided his home in a pre-dawn raid. Both were subjected to utterly nakedly partisan prosecution, abetted by an activist judge and D.C.-based juries. Stone told Fox News he was watching Fox when he found out about the pardon and has not received formal notification of this. We wanted to get it directly from Roger Stone, so we're pleased to have him join us right now by Skype. Roger Stone, congratulations. If this is in fact true, you're dressed for the occasion, I'm glad to see. Um, is this true? Have you been pardoned? Um, I believe it is true. Um, my attorney has now checked with the White House counsel, and we have assurances that the media reports are accurate because it was on CNN. So, therefore, you know, it's a high probability that anything there is not true. But, uh, Tucker, we're very happy. I, I have a, an enormous uh, debt of gratitude to God Almighty for giving the president the strength and the courage to recognize that my prosecution was a completely politically motivated witch hunt. Um, and my trial was a Soviet-style show trial in which the judge denied us any powerful line of defense, uh, in which the judge, we now know, hid exculpatory evidence from us because on, new, on election day, when no one was watching, the Justice Department released the last remaining uh, redacted sections of the Mueller report in which they admitted that they had no evidence whatsoever of my colluding with Russia, WikiLeaks, Julian Assange, trafficking in emails, that, that they had no ev no factual evidence that I had advanced notice of the source or content of the WikiLeaks disclosures. Those things that I was accused of lying to Congress right. about. Well, how does one lie about something that they have now established one didn't know? The whole thing has been uh, an outrage. Um, and my hat is off to the president, the greatest president since Abraham Lincoln, uh, who had the courage to correct this injustice. So I got to ask you, I, we followed this pretty closely simply because it was so obviously grotesque. Even if you had done everything they accused you of doing, the response was so wildly disproportionate to the alleged crime that you had to ask yourself, and I did every day that we covered this, why? What was this about? They tried to put you in prison effectively for the rest of your life for lying to Congress. Why did they do that, do you think? You've thought about it a lot. Uh, I think it's, uh, it's abundantly clear. Uh, in July of 2019, the Mueller prosecutor, specifically Jeannie Ree, approached my attorneys uh, just before the release of the Mueller report, uh, seeking my cooperation, essentially in return, for some unspecified leniency in sentencing. In other words, Tucker, they wanted me to lie. They wanted me to bear false witness against the president, um, and I refused to do so. I think that's what this charge was about from the beginning. Uh, they must have mistaken me for Michael Cohen, but they had the wrong guy, and I refused to do this. Now the left invites, uh, invents a totally new canard, which is Stone traded his silence regarding misconduct by the president in return for commutation of his sentence and now a pardon. That is a lie. There is no corroboration or evidence to prove that. Uh, it is the typical rewriting of history by the left. I always felt watching what they did to you, if they could do that to you, they could do that to anybody. And so I'm, I'm grateful that you have been pardoned fully. You're now a citizen in good standing. Roger Stone, congratulations, truly. Thank you. Well, Tucker, thanks for your outstanding analysis and reporting on this issue. You have been a paragon in the truth, uh, of the truth. So God bless you, uh, and God bless America, and God bless our president. Roger Stone, thanks so much.